welcome back guys today we have a 530 GT N57 with the timing chain at the back I can show you in this video how to change the timing chain on this vehicle well it's the same as a 5 series 3 series anything with a straight 6 6 cylinder uh, from 2010 yeah 2010 up to what 2000 well they introducing new engines but these are pretty much very similar to up to 2016 something like that or maybe 17 anyway uh, what are we going to do we're going to strip it down uh, go in detail take the gearbox off uh, strip the top end down access to the timing chain and then we'll show you how exactly procedure how to change the timing chain whilst everything is stripped so stay tuned let's go so first things first we're going to strip the top end off that means that that all the injectors intakes coming off so i'm guessing over here you need just use a little common sense obviously two bolts everything's off same as injectors everything everything will be off so um, just follow follow the procedure nice and steady step by step and you won't make any mistake I don't know what about you but I like to put bolts somewhere near let's say on the engine bay I don't like them to put in one box let's for example if I'm taking bolts somewhere around this area I put a bolt there if I would take one of this corner I would put a bolt there so when I put everything back together so that means them bolts will go somewhere there not somewhere other side of the engine if, I mean whoever works on the vehicle they do i mean it's their way which is easier for them but this is my personal way how i do it so just 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 saying taking the inlet manifold off as well because we want to check the sphere flaps and build uh, for the carbon um, well basically we're going to take it off inspect it if it's all right we're going to clean it if the sphere flaps all right it's all right we're going to leave it but ideally uh, the car done about 150k ideally you would have to change the inlet manifold for a new one but I mean we did realize it this weekend is a bank holiday so we're gonna just gonna clean it if it's sort of in that stage when it's moving to too much of a risk to put it back I'm just gonna remove it and install afterwards new one but we'll see now anyway anyway what's gonna happen As you see the cover is off and I can tell straight away the car seeing regular oil changes because this is literally nice and shiny I've seen BMWs before where like all these camshafts followers you literally whatever you see it's all black basically oil turned into grease and obviously stick to every single part of it but over here nice and shiny you know i love it when people looking after their cars and it's much much easier to work can you just imagine if this is all would be covered then i'll probably spend two hours cleaning it but this is nice and shiny that means respect to the owner <laughs> 
So we strip the top end down. What else are I gonna do? I'm gonna uh, take the wool filter out and uh, drain the wool and start stripping underneath. So gearbox is off, now we're going to take the flywheel off, sump off and uh, finally timing chain cover off and then we can have access to the back timing chain. So before we're going to take the flywheel off actually we're going to set the T first cylinder TDC top dead center because we got a locking pin, pin there so we're going to lock, lock the uh, flywheel and then we're just gonna mark on the front of the uh, pulley, front, front crankshaft pulley. I'm just gonna put a slight tipex mark it. That's the TDC. Oh, you'll you'll see in a minute. So this is N47, N57 locking, or well, basically timing timing tools. All you need is this camshaft lock and the crankshaft lock. So most important is this bit. So I'll show you what I mean. So first thing first, we need to find the TDC. That means first cylinder at the top dead center. So I'm gonna turn now crankshaft, find the, when it's compression stroke, oh, it's quite tight there. Can't squeeze my hand in there, but. So put a screwdriver in. It's gonna go on top. I'll know roughly. What the? So roughly here, we got the first cylinder at the TDC. So. Over there, you got marks next to next to each other. So that means these front camshafts, the lobes, for, um, the lobes itself facing upwards, and them two are facing each other. So what are we gonna do? So I'm gonna lock this right there. Where is it? It's not 100% yet, but I'll go, I'll go underneath and lock the crank at the TDC, and this in the same time on from the top. So we got this locking tool. We need to insert insert in this hole there. There is a bung. Take the bung out, and it's supposed to go inside the flywheel like that. So that means. First cylinder is a TDC as a way should be. I'm gonna take this paint because the thing is you need to take the flywheel off to access obviously the timing chain cover, take all that off. So the crankshaft itself not gonna be locked. So what I usually do, take this paint. So at the front, I'm gonna mark a line like that so that means when i take the locking pin, uh, pin out i'll know the mark the locking uh, the, basically the first cylinder should the crankshaft basically should sit like that so it's a, if it's gonna move that means it's out of timing so that's it i'm taking out the locking pin and taking the rest of the stuff off.
so the uh, the sump and the cover is finally off so here is how the setup looks i've already undone the uh, fuel uh, fuel uh, high pressure fuel pump bolt so that's uh, that sort of um, gear is interfaced fit so that means you need sort of uh, pressed out but in i'll show you in a minute what technique i'm using because i don't have a special tool at the moment uh, this wall pump bolt is a left hand thread that means uh, so undo it it means it's going clockwise anti-clockwise it's tightened uh, here we got a tensioner and another main tensioner that side so i'm gonna strip everything apart and then i'll show you how to install and set up the timing up so i've took up most of the parts off all i need to do is now is take this gear out as i said my technique as i said I took, um, took uh tool spread out tensioner and everything so what i'm gonna do because i don't have a special tool at the moment I'm going to use this bad boy, that's an air chisel because this gear is going to be changed anyway, I don't care if it's damaged so what I'm going to do is probably press it somewhere around here and obviously with the vibration it should come off I've done it before, it worked fine I sort of screwed the uh, screw its bolt itself halfway in so obviously it doesn't fly on my face so uh, and once once that off i can take that chain off and obviously put a new one on so the gear is off as you see uh what i usually do I put a piece of wood there put a pray bar against the teeth and give it a one or two uh sort of uh kicks with the air chisel and basically the gear comes off I know it's not the best and correct correct way to do it, but as I said, I didn't cause any damage whatsoever, and this gear is going to be replaced anyway. Um, well, ideally, if you're doing it, just get yourself a special tool which screws in and pushes this gear out, uh, which probably costs about what 20, 20 pounds whatsoever. But as I said, I didn't had that at this moment, so I've used this technique. Hopefully, it will help you out when you're going to do it. So yeah, um, screw this one out. And the whole thing comes off. And you can see everything is stripped. And now is the case where I put everything back together with the new parts. So everything is finally on. Let me show you what exactly you should pay attention to when you're installing the timing chain on so remember i've marked the cylinder tdc so here's the mark make sure that's always opposite to each other so that means you're not out of timing that's first uh obviously um, left hand thread uh regards to timing chain itself and the tensioners so we got when you when you install the new uh, timing chain on remember this one has a pin and and there is a movement from the top as you can see so when basically you only tighten them three bolts up when you finished with this tensioner there and obviously uh pull the pin out of this one then it it takes the slack off of the chain that means it's perfectly timed and then you can tighten these three bolts up and obviously tighten down up as well and basically that's it now it's just a case of putting everything back together i mean if you got any questions let me know down in the comments below i'll happy to help you out now it's just a case of cleaning old silicone off and putting everything back together. And remember, when you um, always change the always change the the crankshaft seal, 
and let it sit for like 24 hours really that's by the book i mean i usually will by the time i put a cover on install the crankshaft seal and leave it i don't know a couple hours maybe half a day by the time i finished everything off i mean i never had the problems but by the book it should sit for about uh, 24 hours but as i said i never had a problem so it's totally up to you how you want to do it and um yeah wash wash the sump off wash make sure there is no debris inside i mean you can see the customer had done the regular oil changes anyway and there is no it's clearly shiny so all, all i'm gonna do is clean it with a brake cleaner and uh yeah put everything back together should be fine Everything was back together. Uh, still need to finish a couple, uh, couple plastics. Nothing major, but for the start, everything is back together. So we're gonna start it. See how it runs. Uh, seem to be running fine. Uh, I'm gonna put all the plastics back together. Um, just double check if any major leaks for now. If no, everything's fine. I'll take it for a test drive, warm it up, double check for the leaks, and if everything is all right, give it back to customer and happy days. Hopefully this video was useful to you. I mean, in regards to N57 timing chains, if you got any questions, leave the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. But so far, have a good day and I'll see you next time.